Hi there, it's Rachel Gregg here and today I want to share with you a flip through of one of my completed traveller inserts for my traveller's notebooks. This insert here is by Webster's Pages and you can see it's just got a map on the, uh, on the outer cover and on the inside pages it has uh, some grid, grid pages, that's what the inside uh, pages were and so I'm just going to do a quick flip through just to show you how I decorate and how I write for uh, the insides of my Traveller's inserts. So this one here, this is the one that I started at the beginning of this year. So this is uh, January 2018. And as you can see here, I do a lot of writing. Um, this is what I mainly sort of do a lot of in my journals here. Um, I've usually always got a lot to say. So, um, and I've just started here just with my own handwriting up here, just writing the months or the date. And then, um, yeah, just adding a little bit of washi tape down the bottom here. So in my journals here, I generally use a couple of different black pens. I use the Fude Ball pen um, and then also the Faber-Castell Pit pens. This one's the broad. And so that's what I've done uh, for or to create the month, to draw the month there. I also use an art line pen. And, uh, you know, there's a few other black pens that I use, but I like to have, you know, some really good quality pens there to use that will write uh, really easily and over the top of photos and, and, you know, other bits and pieces that I might end up putting in my journal. So that's just the beginning there. So I'll just, yeah, generally start with my pages just by adding a little bit of washi tape, or in this case, it was just washi tape. And then depending on what I'm doing, uh, here I was doing a bit of traveling here. So I've just, you know, stuck in some business cards of where I stayed and then also where we had some dinner. And so just stuck those in just for, you know, to remember that as well. Um, here I've started again just with some washi tape and just some doodling just down here. Uh, and I generally use some washi tape to um, separate some pages or, you know, to different paragraphs as well, because I find it really easily uh, easy to do that with and I've just got some other stickers here that I've gotten out of uh, a Kayser Craft sticker book and That just adds some extra, you know fun decoration to my pages But as you can see I still do a fair bit of writing so here. This is just a brochure that I've stuck in um, brochures usually generally fit uh, the travelers notebook inserts quite easily so as you can see we went indoor skydiving and that was a lot of fun and so I've just written about, um, you know, doing that and that experience, which is always a fun thing to do. Um, okay, so this page here, and, and here I've started uh, using some stamps uh, just to decorate as well. And then I just use that and write around that. Also just some old book pages and some patterned paper, uh, some more stickers and more washi and more stickers here. And here we've got some vertical washi tape. So it's always nice to have some vertical designs as well as your horizontal washi tape so you can mix and match. Um, here's another uh, brochure here. We did some cooking classes. Uh, I gave Zoe, who's my daughter, gave her a cooking class for Christmas. And um, yeah, so she did this on this particular day. It was a cupcake cooking class. So that was, uh, it was nice to taste test those once she'd finished. And, um, and this is just the business card. And yeah, just decorated here with another sticker. And Okay, on to the next page here. So what I've started with here is just some darkroom door stamps. And this, most of these stamps are out of the correspondence stamp set. And inside that stamp set is like a little tiny pen nib stamp. And it's only just one little um, tiny stamp. And I've then just stamped it repeatedly around the top and the bottom just to create a border. So it's really cool how you can just create... Um, a board like a full border but just using a tiny little stamp and then I've just used the other stamps in that set just the postmarks and then the scrolls and the feathers and then just added a couple of bit of uh, washi tape these are Tim Holtz washi tapes just down the bottom there and that just separates some of the uh, the paragraphs there on the page okay so this page here I've used some of my own pattern paper um, these are uh, some photographs that I've taken and I turned them into some nice paper that you can use for, you know, doing it inside uh, notebooks like this one or cutting them out and turning them into cards. Uh, some people use them for invitations. Um, so I've just had a strip of those and just added that in there. And then this is a bit of Dina Wakely uh, washi tape. And so added that down there. And then this, I've written sideways for this one. So you can, um, you know, 
just depending on which way you want to write you can not always do it that way you can write the other way um, and then just added another this is a darkroom door quote stamp uh, called follow your heart so just stamped that down in the bottom right corner and here we go this is um, when I uh, traveled over to the States and so I have um, stuck in my boarding passes and and I just did that just with a bit of washi tape and that's you know still sturdy enough because uh, I've done it both sides, so I'll add the washi tape this side and then I'll add some washi. And I've done two lots of washi tape here, and that really keeps it nice and sturdy. And then another one here. And you'll notice that my boarding passes are a little bit black. And what happened there was I was um, embossing this stamp with a heat gun, and I'd already stuck these in with the washi just because I knew that's where I was about to write about that trip. And, um, and I was just heat embossing this and forgot that these were in here. And because the boarding passes are thermal, based which means once they hit heat they'll go black um, and so of course they ended up going black but you know it just <laughs> adds to the story I guess now to the um, to the book so that doesn't matter it's just you know one of those things that happens so up here I've just used some darkroom door stamps these are from the uh, the nomad set just enjoy the journey and one of the little post card stamps and then I've just written my stories and then um, to incorporate the red here from the logo of the um, boarding pass, I've just used some red washi tape, which just balances that out. And then again, some little tickets down here, that's all darkroom door stamps there as well. Uh, and then I've just kept the luggage tags uh, from the back of, or from my suitcases, and then stuck those in because they're always sticky. Uh, and then some more little tags there as well. And here's some more luggage tags. They've always got some interesting patterns on them, like, you know, barcodes and things. A couple of extra stickers from that Kayser book. And this one here, this is a, um, a fortune cookie, uh, like a little fortune out of a fortune cookie that I had while I was traveling. And so I've just stuck that in there. It says, better to do something imperfectly than to do nothing perfectly. And that's quite appropriate for um, the work that, uh, or, you know, the hobbies and work that I do is better to create some art and write some stuff and doesn't need to be perfect it just it's just enjoyable to do it okay so here this is just a continuation of my stories from my travels more washi tape down here and uh, while I was in the states I went um, exhibited at Creativation for Darkroom Door so that was my exhibitor badge there and I just stuck that in and then some extra washies the, uh, that one's from a Tim Holtz one and just some extra stickers around the place and again, more of my travels, more washi and more luggage tags. And this one here had a nice little purple design on that. So that just gives it a little bit of extra color. And here we have, um, this is all again, just some stamping. And these stamps are from Darkroom Door. And I sort of match the colors um, with this business card. So I've just stamped in black. Uh, these are from the leaves stamp set. And then the yellow parts are from the watery washes stamp set. And that just gave a little bit of extra, you know, splashes and stuff on your page without actually creating any sort of wet mess. Uh, you can just stamp them just with a really nice light colored ink. And it just underlines the month. And now these are the dates and the months are from the diary date stamp set. And so I've just done Tuesday, 23rd of January, stamped that inside there and then just wrote my stories. And we've just got another uh, business card here that I've just stuck down while I was in San Francisco. I went on a photography workshop there um, and then also just added some more stickers along here. And this is a stamp from Stampers Anonymous. I've usually got a, um, a basket full of stamped pieces that you know are leftovers from other projects or um, you know just bits and pieces that I've uh, collected and so I have just used one of those here I just pull them out and just you know add them in just for extra um, you know interest and imagery inside the journal and I've done the same here just with some patterned paper and just some other stickers here these are uh, the Tim Holtz um, little word stickers that he's got there and then some more washi tape that I really love and I bought this card when I was in San Francisco and I really just like the design of it because it looked like a luggage tag and so and I've used that as journaling as well so I've just journaled on the inside there and then just stuck it inside the book and this little stamp down here that's just a hand carved stamp and I was actually just testing the stamp out and you know that's now just a border inside the book and that's what I love about doing these inserts is that you can use pretty much anything inside them. Um, so you can just collect bits and pieces along the way of your travels. Uh, but also if you're just testing out art supplies, just test it inside a book instead of a you know piece of scrap paper 
and it just gives you just some more interesting features within your book. Okay, so this one here, I've just used some washi tape across the top and the bottom. Um, and then this is the Tickets uh, Texture Stamp by Darkroom Door. And I've just stamped that again um, down the left and the right hand sides. And then just added a few more uh, stickers. There's some really nice gold embossed or gold foiling stickers there. I don't know if you can see the foiling there on those stickers. But they're really nice. And then again, this is just my handwriting here using, um, you know, the... The broad pens and then just writing my little stories okay little second last page here so this one here this is a border stamp from darkroom door this is the vine border stamp so i've just stamped that in black and then i've just colored it in using some uh some pencils and then added more washi a couple of extra stickers and these are just some collage butterflies uh, that's from a company called collections they uh, no longer exist but i've still got quite a lot of their product in my stash and so I've just cut them out and just added those in there and again just handwriting my own um, titles for the page you don't need to write titles but you know sometimes if I'm sitting um, in an airport or at home if I'm just in front of the TV or something and I just want to you know doodle away that's when I'll usually do my um, you know headings or larger writing for the book and here we go back to school so this is uh, the kids had started school now, so this is just, you know, the story about them starting their school year. And this is the large, uh, or it's a suitcase stamp from Darkroom Door, and I'm just saying it's large because it looks large against this little guy here. This is a Tim Holtz paper doll, and I just thought he looked really, um, he looked really cool sitting on his big suitcase ready for school. Looks all very smart and dapper and ready to go. So that was just to finish off this insert. And I really love this insert, how it's got the cassette tape and how it's got the, you know, tape coming out of the cassettes because that's definitely my era of when I grew up and we had cassettes and they were all, you know, coming out like that. So, yeah, I just love this insert. And so this is now finished. This actually went from the 1st of January right through to the 31st because that's when the kids started school. So that is now my first completed insert. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll continue to share more inserts uh, when I've completed them so be sure to subscribe and I would love to hear in the comments anything that you'd like me to share on the channel but I'll continue to share my journals um, and my flip throughs and more so thanks so much for watching